Welcome to In the Spotlight. I'm Janelle Broderick. Rounding out Horowitz Center's Year of the Woman, the HCC Galleries recently presented simultaneous exhibitions focusing on the female form and experience. Adjunct art professor Greg McLemore curated a multimedia exhibit in the Rouse Company Foundation Gallery titled Women of Myth, Splendor, and Irrefutable Morals. As curator, his job was to select the artists and works to be featured in the show. The criteria was that everybody had, had to be working with the female form. Um, and I wanted to find artists that related to each other um, in, like that, that spoke the same language, whether they be um, photography or, or digital illustration or painting, they should still be speaking a similar visual language to each other. McLemore intentionally included artists with diverse backgrounds. There's a lesbian woman, there's a, a white male, there's, a, there's an Asian female. I feel like there's a language that they're all speaking, um, but everyone is at the same time very different. Um, so kind of, you know, in, in a way just kind of pulling things together that maybe don't, you wouldn't think would naturally go together, but end up going together pretty well. The title of the show evolved with the development of the exhibition. Originally, Becky had the idea of a show called Distorted Female. Um, I, I like that, but at the same time, as I started gathering artists, I didn't feel that was a, a true representative, representation of what this show was about. Um, so I, I played with some different ideas, um, and in the end, I, I landed on this one because I wanted to kind of have something that encompassed all of, all of the art, um, but was still kind of fun to, to work with. As a painter, whose work was also included in the show, McLemore approached curation of the exhibit as he would one of his own works. When you're painting, you have, you know, a number of elements that you're dealing with. Um, linear elements, you know, horizontal, um, big round things, small skinny things, you know, all, all these different shapes, all these different colors that you're dealing with as a painter. Um, I found myself, it, it was as if I had been thrown inside of the painting and I was just moving things around. In contrast to the curated exhibit, the art department gallery featured work by Towson graduate Janice Crum in her very first solo show. Producing one strong piece in an entire body of work of other people's uh, art, it's, it's a much different thing than filling that space with your work and having it be a consistent theme that speaks the way that you want it to. Crum, who had been creating dolls for about a year, was approached by gallery director Becky Bafford to exhibit work during Horowitz Center's Year of the Woman. With that theme in mind, Crum created new pieces specifically for this show. The entire body of work was built around the idea of being in this space. So I came out here, I took pictures, and then from there sort of kept building up uh, the dialogue that had sort of been happening naturally in the clay, but working more with an intense focus on how it'll fit here in this space. The title of her exhibit, I Hate It When You Please Look At Me, is a phrase Crum had been pondering for years prior to the show. After a period of trying numerous hairstyles and fashions, she questioned herself. I was coming to a point in my life where I was trying to understand why I was expressing myself that way. And especially as a woman, the idea, there was this duplicitous nature in that I don't want to be viewed solely for my looks. But then when I don't get that attention or I see other people getting that attention, I feel like I'm losing something. Well, like, well where's my attention? Through her work, Crum questions how women cope with the contradictions of the female experience. And while I do think it is a valid way to use art, to, to just pose the question and allow the viewer to engage with it in a way that, that maybe they can be inspired to come up with their own solution. I did spend time trying to focus on what pieces would sort of transition through that. Crum uses symbolic imagery to portray the dual vulnerability and power of women. My personal themes of my background, of, of religious themes, Renaissance themes, where you're exalted in these very specific ways. You're given a very specific platform from which you are allowed to feel powerful. And so I felt like if I was able to use that imagery with the dolls, I wouldn't just sort of put them in this place of vulnerability and, you know, powerlessness. Beauty aside, Crum acknowledges that some viewers find her work disturbing, a fact she has embraced. People that have seen my work before I started using that imagery pretty consistently said, oh, your dolls are creepy, but I like them. You know, this idea of um, inviting a viewer 
to, to engage with something, you know, creating a place of comfort, but then, but then when they interact with it, they see that there's something of a threat there. There's something that's being asked of them that they didn't expect to be there. For me, I have very positive associations with dolls. There are plenty of people who don't, and I, I really enjoy engaging with that element of, of, of symbolism and in people's inherent fears that might not be something we talk about or engage with on a daily basis, but something that's it's a natural theme that does sort of occur by accident. For more information on the Horowitz Center's upcoming exhibitions, visit howardcc.edu slash galleries. For information about the Horowitz Center's 2016-2017 season, inspired by the theme Chaos, visit howardcc.edu slash Horowitz Center. I'm Janelle Broderick for In the Spotlight. See you next time.